In this video, I'm going to go over the process of accessing your server in SQL Server Management Studio and running a query inside of your database. After that, I'm also going to quickly show you how to paste the results into an Excel file. You'll start by finding SQL Server Management Studio on your machine. If you've already set up a shortcut or gave you one by default upon installation, just look for a little icon that looks like this one. However, if you don't have a shortcut, it's easy to find by typing in the search menu. Now, open up SQL Server Management Studio. If you've opened a database before, it will likely keep the information from last time. For the sake of this video, I'm going to walk through every step. The first option we're going to have to deal with is server name. You can either enter it in or use the dropdown to find a list of available servers. This time, I need to deal with this one. Next, it will ask you for authentication. The two most common authentication methods I run into are SQL Server authentication and Azure Active Directory password. Now, go ahead and enter your login details. It will save all of your usernames in a dropdown too, which is really nice. Something to note is under the options menu as well, you can choose to access a specific database if your server has multiple. Now, let's go ahead and connect. Once that's open and loaded, you'll want to open your databases dropdown, as that's where most databases are going to find themselves. Then you're going to right click on the database you want and choose New Query. This window here is where you can run all of your queries, store procedures, whatever you need. I'm just going to run a simple select statement to show you. Now, once you've got it all typed out, go ahead and just click Execute. It might take a second to load, but here we are. As you can see, we now have our list of results. And right above the one, we have this empty cell. If we click on that and then right click, we can copy with headers, which just looks nice. Now, now that you've got that all copied, go ahead and open Excel, and you're gonna to want to start a new blank workbook. All you need to do is choose the top left, top left cell and paste it, and here we are. All of that information copied right over. As you can see, it can be pretty easy to access your database as long as you know what you're doing.